Hello friends, this is Vicki from Stamp Smiles. I'm here to share a fun coffee cup style card with you. It's in the shape of a to-go coffee cup. And when you pull out the little top of the lid, it has an insert that you can put a message in and or a gift card. It's a little pocket as you can see here. It's just like a regular A2 size card and it's got a fun little message inside or a gift card that you can gift. The stamp set that I'm using is this cute stamp set called Warm Beverages by Inky Stamper. It comes with this cute raccoon in it and it's a new line that they have come out with with Ramon and Rita and I'm very honored to be a guest designer this month for them and so you can watch them on my blog and I'll have links below to their store and you can check them out. I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas style version and I am going to share all the measurements with you. This is the card base and I've changed up the card base on it for one reason. So this autumn cup that I did is you can see when you try to put it in a regular A2 sized envelope it kind of is a little bit snug and I use the measurements of a regular A2 size card. If you don't care about that, you can go ahead and make this four and a quarter by 10 and a half. But I wanted it to fit inside of the A2 envelope, so I measured it at four and a quarter by 10 inches. This is a three inch by four and a half inch piece of doodle bug design paper that Inky Stamper sells, and it's for the inside insert. And then I also have two pieces at one inch by four and a quarter inches for the sliders on the inside of the pocket. And then I have these two pieces at one and four and a quarter inches and another one at a quarter by four and one quarter inches. And that's going to be the lid of the cup. And that's everything you need just to make the cup. And then to design the outside of it, you can see I put a little sleeve on the outside of the coffee cup and the measurements are th for this are two inches by four and one quarter inch that is the background and then this craft piece of paper is one and a half inch by four and a quarter inches and i will show you how i design mine so here's where you want to freeze frame the video so that you can get all the measurements and you can always come back to this and replay it again if you need to see how this was put together so starting with the card base I'm going to take the four and a quarter by 10 inch piece of cardstock and I'm going to line it up at the five inch mark on my paper trimmer, but I am not going to cut it. What I'm going to do is use my bone folder and just score it in half at the five inch mark. So this is basically how you would make a standard card and just fold it in half and then I always like to uh, make sure to score my edges down so I'm just using a bone folder to score it down. And now what I need to do is I'm going to make little tick marks and what you need to keep in mind when you do this is to use the folding side of it when you make the tick marks because that's the important part of the whole thing. So I'm going to take it to my paper trimmer and I'm going to line it up at the one half inch mark and you can see I'm using my pencil to make a tick mark. Now what I did is I flipped it over and I'm still on the folding portion of the card and I'm going to make another half inch tick mark. So I got one on each side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those tick marks as little measurements so that I can design my cup shape. And so I'm lining it up at the tick mark along with the other side of the card at the very edge of it. And I'm going to just trim that off. Now, if your paper trimmer does not happen to cut all the way through, it's really no big deal. You can just use some scissors to trim it off as long as you know where your cut lines are. So now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to line it up with the other tick mark and the very edge of the other end. And that's why I like this paper trimmer because it has that little wire in there that is really nice so you can see exactly where you cut it. And then I'm just going to cut this little portion off just like I did the other side. And this is what's going to shape the cup. Now we have a cup all ready to go. 
and we can make a little pocket. Very easy. Now these are the two pieces that are one inch by four and a quarter inch. These are going to be the sliders for your pocket on the edges. You're gonna line it up and just score it in half at the half inch mark. And I just lined it up and used my bone folder to score them. And then you can just fold these in half. And actually, um, it doesn't really matter what color they are. You're not going to see them. You might slightly see them on the edges of it. And looking back at this, I'm thinking maybe I should have used red. But it, it really was no big deal. So now what I'm doing is because I cut the edges off for my cup, I'm going to just use my scissors. I'm going to trim them. As you can see, you want the pointy ends to be where the fold is. And it really doesn't matter. There's no measurements on this. I'm just kind of eyeballing it so you can kind of guess. Just as long as you have a little curve where the points are on the folded edges. And you're going to use those as little... Um, track marks on the edge of your coffee cup. Now there's a little candy cane that's inside the warm beverages stamp set and I'm using some white ink and randomly stamping the little candy cane all over the red coffee cup base before I place it together. You want to do all your stamping before you put it together and I'm thinking a peppermint mocha from Starbucks sounds really good right now. <laughs> Um, so now I'm taking those pieces that I scored and folded over and cut. I'm using some double-sided tape, and I highly recommend that you use um, double-sided tape, tear tape, red line tape, whatever you want to call it, because it's, it's something sturdy, and it's going to be handled a lot. You're going to have the insert going in and out and moved around, so you want something that's going to be sturdy. And I'm just burnishing those down. And now I'm going to take one side off. You're going to leave the other side of the double-sided tape. You're going to leave that on. But you notice where the fold is. I'm going to line that up to the edge of the coffee cup side. And you can see why we cut little diagonals on there. So that you don't see that. And it doesn't interfere with your insert when you put it in there. And it doesn't stick up. And so now I'm going to move on to the two pieces that are one inch by four and a quarter and one quarter inch by four and a quarter. These are the pieces for the lid. And I thought it would be fun to put a little dimension on there. And I'm using some tumbled glass Distress Oxide ink and sponging them so that they have a little bit of color and dimension. So for the one inch piece, I'm going to use my corner chomper, and that's the half inch side of it, and I'm going to uh, chomp two top corners of it. So that way when it fits on there, um, it will look like a lid. Now I'm using the quarter inch mark, and I'm cutting the very bottom of the coffee cups because it, it, it gives it just a little bit of shape, so it's not a flat straight line going across. And then I'm just going to finish adding a little bit of color to the lid using the Tumble Glass Distress Oxide ink on the one inch piece that I corner chopped to. And so now I need to just take this little strip and glue that over top of my one inch piece. And depending on where you put a sentiment, if you want to put um, on my autumn card, I had a stamp set that I uh, stamped pull and a little arrow on there. But you can also use a marker if you want it to just write it or put an arrow. But I think when the recipient gets it, it's kind of self-explanatory that you're going to need to pull on the lid to <laughs> see what's going on with it. And... I just had a little piece that I just cut off the edges of it. And as you can see, this is our coffee cup with the lid. And this is the insert for the inside. And I just cut a piece of the doodle bug um, paper pad, the, ging the gingham paper pad that Inky Stamper also sells. 
and I got the little candy cane again and I'm using the white ink I thought I would just stamp it all over on the inside of it and looking at it I realized I did not like that because it didn't show up very well so I used some festive berries distress oxide ink and kind of sponged around the edges with it and now I'm just attaching the doodle bug paper onto a, a slightly larger piece of white cardstock because I wanted it to be a little bit sturdier for the insert on the inside of my uh, coffee cup. And now I'm going to attach the lid to the insert. And I got some more double-sided tape. And what you need to do here is you need to line the lid at the very top of of the lid as well as the very top of the insert and just kind of eyeball it and line it up um, there's no need to worry about that too much because it'll fit on there just fine and then as you see that's what I did so it has that little lip there so it tucks really nice on top of the cup when you slide it in and you will see once I put it in there just kind of burnishing it down and so now I'm ready to take off the backing of the double-sided tape on the coffee cup sliders pieces. And I can just put that together. And now we have our little pocket. As you can see, you can see a little bit of the white, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But if, if you are concerned about it, you can just use the same color as your base for the inside um, slider pieces. And now you see that just fits right in there like so and slides together and your coffee cup is done. I decided to add a sentiment from the same stamp set using the same um, ink that I used around the edges of it so that I had a sentiment on the inside. So now for the little sleeve of the coffee cup, I've got my um, two inch by four and a quarter inch piece that's also cut from some gingham doodle bug paper pack that I used for all for both of my cups actually. And on that one, I'm showing my autumn card that I just use a scoreboard and scored lines in it. For this piece of craft card stock, I got my Fiskars crimper tool out and I made a little some corrugated lines on there. I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do, but you can be creative and you can even use some of those sleeves that you get from the coffee cups that, you, that you'd get from the store and you can use leftover pieces of that as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm just lining it up with my coffee cup and using my scissors to just cut it off so that it fits on there nicely but I have not glued it down yet you could always glue it down if you're ready to go but I wanted to add some red and white white twine to it before I glued it down and so that's what I did with mine and then of course here is Ramon he's all colored up in his Christmas colors and I've got a little sentiment there with the little candy cane that I die cut out also that you can purchase along with the stamp set and um, I'm using some foam squares to pop on the back of them and just place him right over top of the twine and I think this makes it so fun you don't have to go that fancy or if you want to go even fancier you can put all kinds of stuff on it and if you want it to be tea you could make tea out of this too as well. I can also see that in there as well. And here you can see the little thing slides up and the lid comes down on top of it. And the reason why I made the me measurements a little different on this one is because it fits into the A2 size envelope much nicer now that I use the other size. So I hope you've enjoyed my pull out coffee cup slider cards. Thanks so much for stopping by, friends.